How's it going PewDiePie? It's Blue Moon from the Bros Gaming Channel. So this video is all about Jung Jun and how to use him, basically. Honestly, he didn't get that many changes, so I can very easily make a video already on his kit. Okay, so you already know all the gimmicks. He has great uh, dash attacks because they can be soft fainted into 400 millisecond moves. He can also faint them. The only big deal is that if you do faint them, your guard break will most likely miss. So, if the opponent were to dodge, you would actually miss. His guard break is actually really bad. Like, a lot of the times, if I do like this and the, uh, the opponent dodges, he will actually miss the guard break. So, he needs some sort of tweak on his guard break because it feels really short. As you can see right here, I'm very close to the other Jung Jun, but I'm still missing the guard break. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, look how close I am to him. And only now, when I'm like one step. So his zone, everyone knows, it's a pretty good move. 28 damage for the 180 arc in front of you. It's very decent for uh, anti-gank. And now you can actually swap it. So before you couldn't actually target swap it. It's still not as easy to target swap as Warden's zone, for example, or Orochi's. But you can now actually target swap. So if I'm locked on that guy right here. A guy right here, I can actually target swap my zone into the, a guy that is on this other side. Before you actually had to do the full lock on and now you could do the, the zone. But now you can actually do it while you're switching, so that's pretty good. So his lights got really decent buffs and uh, the great thing about them is that they are insanely easy to delay. Most lights and attacks in the game are, you know, decent at delaying but Jiang Jun is amazing at delaying attacks, so if I do it, I can still hit the chain. Like, look at this. It's a very, very big window for you to delay them, so it's very easy to hit people with them because of the delay hiding your your indicator for a little longer. A good thing that they made is that the kick from the forward dash can now actually wall splat. Guaranteeing you the top unblockable. You can also do the side unblockable if you're surrounded, but in most scenarios you want to do the top uh, unblockable because it deals 5 more damage. Some sort of mix up for it to show you. You cannot soft faint it to seafood poise for some reason. I like it if you could faint it to seafood poise. Maybe it's still P? I don't know. I don't think it is. Y you can faint it. And then going to seafood poise, but you cannot soft faint it. I think that would, wouldn't be a big of change, but whatever. I mean, you can soft faint your top attack. Why not the do dodge? Whatever. So if you do not have a wall, you do a light. It will be your light finisher, so you cannot chain anything else. But you can also go for the unblockable. So you can actually do some decent... Uh, faint game on the dashes like uh, Tiandi, but you don't actually see any Jiang Jun's using the faint. Now let's go into actual wall punishes from the guard break. If your opponent is quite far from the wall, you can get the top heavy, but if he's not far away from the wall enough, you will not get the heavy. So it's pretty much like a raider, basically. So, I can see right here he was too far, I couldn't hit it. Like if he was an actual player. Come on, block, stop. Stop being stupid. Get over here. What are you doing? Jesus! Look how far I had to be. Okay, so if he's at a decent distance, you can hit the heavy. But if he's too close, you'll recover too slow and your enemy will be able to block. So basically, it's like Raider. You don't, he's not like Highlander where you would actually recover quicker quicker than everyone else and you may be able to hit the heavy. No, he's like Raider. You need to be at a good distance. Or Peacekeeper for, uh, for that matter. You need to be at a good distance so the opponent recovers slower so you can actually hit your heavy. Now, what you always get guaranteed is a, either a light or a zone. If you have stamina, always do the zone. It's 28 damage while the light... Why are you running away? Well, the light is 18, so it's 10 more damage, and also is an AoE, but of course it costs more stamina. Moving into parry punishes, let's start with the choke. So, it can wall splat, 
And if it wall splats, you get the top heavy. It deals 5 damage, the choke, and uh, 84 stamina damage, I believe. Now, if the opponent is out of stamina, when you hit it... So, as you can see, he's out of stamina. Now, you actually get a top heavy. So, that's the thing. If you do the choke on an enemy, and he's still, he's still not exhausted, he will not be unbalanced. If he gets exhausted when you parry, like you parry and then he goes exhausted, he will actually get uh, unbalanced and it will guarantee you a heavy. So he's out of stamina now. So I can do this as well. Now of course that this, although it deals 50 damage total, it's a very good punish. Doing a backstep light into the unblockable, you do not really keep going. So. It's a really good move to finish off opponents or to just deal a great amount of damage, but you will not be able to really chain into anything, so it's not the best punish. It's good, but it's not the best, because if you just do a heavy normally, you will then go into unblockable, which forces a reaction on an out-of-stamina opponent. You can also do the zone for 28 damage, and you can also do a light. If you parry a light, you'll get a top heavy. Now, a side heavy is not guaranteed. I'm gonna put myself on revenge, which basically means that uh, I'm gonna show you the parry punishes and throw punishes when the enemy is exhausted or you have revenge. They're basically the same. If the opponent attacks you while you activate revenge, you will get a, the top heavy guaranteed, not anything else. You don't get. I think you might be able to get two lights, but that doesn't really get that much chaining going and he only deals one more damage than a top heavy so it's better if you just do a top heavy or a side heavy if you're getting ganked so if you parry an opponent and he's out of stamina or you have revenge you get a guaranteed zone into top heavy you can also do a zone into side heavy because if you're getting ganked that's the best option also you can just do a light into heavy if you don't have the stamina for the zone but if you do a choke on a regular attack the enemy will not be in balance for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, you're in revenge. It makes sense. But don't do the the choke if you're in revenge or the enemy's out of stamina. Unless, of course, he's like 7 HP, so you can actually kill him with a slap, of course. So throwing an opponent, you get light into unblockable. Of course, the light misses. If you throw him from the sides, you actually get the uh, light into oh i messed up hold up if you throw him to the sides you get the light into unblockable so don't throw him forwards also don't throw him backwards because you'll also miss so if your opponent is out of stamina you get a guard break or you're in revenge throw them sideways do not throw them forwards or backwards because you won't get that light so if you're close to a wall you can get shoe heavies now this is, might be a little tricky, actually. Oh, that see that guard break? So stupid. As you can see right here, it didn't connect. So you need to be hugging the wall. So if he's just a little bit too far, basically that type of distance where you'd get a top heavy off of wall splat, that distance you will not get two heavies, you'll only get a light into heavy. But if they are hugging the wall, you'll actually get two heavy. Also, if you are pairing multiple opponents, you will always do your specific parry punish. So your zone or your choke will always hit the enemy that you parried last. The way to solve this is by doing a light instead. I'll actually show you the clip now. As you can see right here, even though I was locked on the Valkyrie, I actually did the parry punish on the Warlord. And I cannot switch that. It's the same thing for the choke, as you can see right here. Even though I was locked on the Warlord, I, pe I punished the Valkyrie. Okay, let's move on to Sifu Poise, which is everybody's, like, big deal on this character. As you can see right here, you will not get anything. Because the zone is 600 milliseconds, so if your opponent has fast attacks, do not do zone after a heavy, because... In most, in, in most cases, they'll just keep attacking you because you're in Sifu Poise, you have no guard. So, as you can see right here, if I do it, the zone is not guaranteed.
No, it depends on the timing. I don't know how that hit now. Like, if you do Sifu Poise too soon, you will get hit. But, like, as you, can see, as you saw right there, you actually traded, but it's very tricky to get it on facet lights. I think it's right here. Now I couldn't. If I do too soon in order to actually get the zone uh, sooner, I won't actually be able to do it. But, as you can see right here, either I actually get hit, which is pretty much 99% of the cases, or somehow I might be able to hit it or trade it. If I try to do it too soon, I'll get hit by the attack. And sometimes I may be able to hit it. It's a very tricky timing. Now you can also just do Sifu Poise twice. And now go for the zone. But the recovery, on, or at least on Jiang Jun, is very good. So you will actually not get the zone guaranteed. So basically, this attack, not good for a trade. It's, it's just not good. Now of course this is good if you're getting like ganked, like you can use it to switch between characters. You're looking to this guy and then you target swap through the zone. Like it's good for that, but you have no guaranteed punishes from uh, Sifu Poise on most characters. Not on every character and on every situation. Of course in some characters you actually get the zone guaranteed, but in most cases you do not get the zone because it's a 600 millisecond attack. So my suggestion to fix this, uh, originally my suggestion was you could actually do the zone from the left and also from the right, which I still believe would be good. Like you could actually do the zone either from the left or from the right. But if that's not possible, at least let us do a light of Sifu Poise. So instead of actually having to leave and then do the light, you could actually do the light straight from Sifu Poise. Now this light would be the light finisher. This will make it so that you couldn't chain anymore because remember that Sifu Poise is a very am amazing mechanic. You recover your stamina really quickly. But, you know, if you would make it too easy to be aggressive with it, it would make you be an even stronger Nobushi. So just making you be able to chain Sifu Poise into the light finisher, I think would be great. Maybe not to the heavy, but at least just the light. So you get a 20 damage uh, punish if you actually successfully do uh, Sifu Poise on most characters. I think that would be great, at least. My other suggestion that I made in the Jung Jin suggestions video was that we should be able to chain into zone. Nuxia, for some fucking reason, has this. I think it has to do with her trap on the zone being so good, and it, it, it makes sense in that way, but I think that Jiang Jun makes more sense to be able to chain his openers into zone. That would make him a little bit more unpredictable, because instead of going light light, you go light into zone, and then you can do a light again or a, or a, an unblockable. You'll make it more unpredictable. And it also makes sense on his K. He's meant to be a zone attacker. So I still think, I still believe that he should have a, a zone uh, chainable. Like you could do light into zone, heavy into zone. That sort of deal like uh, Nuxia has. You can totally be like Nobushi and just dodge into Sifu Point, into dodge. I do this a lot. It's actually proven to be quite good. It's not as good as Nobushi, but you can actually do it. And it's actually very good for keeping your distance. My only last thing is if you're trying to do parries, so try backstepping into heavy. So what you want to do is backstep and do the heavy. So you actually don't get any punish from it. Oh, I messed up there. So, if the opponent tries to attack, you actually get the parry. And if he doesn't attack, like if he faints, you can actually backstep into heavy. And in most cases, you'll be safe. Because you'll be at a very far distance. And if they try to attack through it, by the time they hit you, you'll be on your hyper armor. And if you let go, like if you have good reactions and you see that they're attacking, you will be able to hit them with your heavy and well because you have hyper armor they will 
they won't stagger you so you hit them and then you can actually continue your chains so this is the best move for this is the best option select for parrying uh, i hope you guys know what option select is if not i'll briefly explain basically it's a way to not get memed on parries let me just say like that so instead of just doing a heavy you're doing for example zone which is also a good option select for him so if the opponent faints you do your zone. It's not great on him because, well, his zone is 600 milliseconds. So if your opponent knows about option select, they'll actually predict it. But if he doesn't actually faint, you will parry him. So option selects for Jung Jun are either zone or backstep heavy. So as you can see right here, you always be very far away. Let me actually go on to a duel to show you these tips. Okay, we have an Orochi, so I'm pretty sure that the backstep parry option select won't be the best. Oh man, he's probably just gonna do lights. Stop being edgy, I'm, a, I'm an old man. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god, this is, a, this is the worst. I actually messed up the timing there. Oh, I did a parry. Oh, yeah, I'm lagging. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that didn't hit. Oh, and he light spams. What the hell was that? Oh, this is the worst. Oh, no. Why did I faint? I had him there. Okay, I'm not lagging too much, so that's good. Oh, don't fucking edge walk. Good, he didn't. Jesus Christ, don't piss me off. Well, as you can see right here, if he tries to deflect it, he won't be able to. Oh, I messed up there so bad. Oh, he guard breaks me there. Really? But yeah, the back step is really good. He tries to deflect, but he cannot because you're too far away. This is something I used to do with Highlander when I used to play him. The back step heavy is really good. Yeah, I knew he was do that. Why did I... Oh, that attack was instantaneous. What was that? Oh, it was a side heavy? What? That was a side heavy. Did you see how fast that was? Jesus. Come on, I need to show you the backstep option select. I already showed it from neutral. I want to see it from parry. Oh my god, come on. I cannot show you, I don't understand. I'm not trying to parry with the option select, I don't understand why I'm wh what I'm doing. Oh, did you see that T-pose? Yo, that T-pose at the end. Marvelous. Showing his dominance. I'm almost losing because I'm trying to do the backstep option select so hard. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I thought would do. No, you cannot. Uh huh. Excuse me. Did I? Okay, I actually killed him. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot do the backstep option select. I'm, <laughs> I'm lagging, and it's an Orochi. I think that was a good, 
uh, show of the back step it's really really good like it's really really good it keeps the distance from your opponent even though you know you're attacking forward in a way so if they actually try to parry you they will most likely miss the parry and actually get eaten by your heavy so it's good from neutral but you can also do it from a parry but I'm lagging like crazy so I don't think I'll actually be able to get footage of it so I'm sorry but that, there you go that that's everything I wanted to show you from Jack June I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or if I made any mistakes because I might have done I don't think I have because I've, I've played a long time with him but if I have any mistakes be sure to point them out um, there will be a Jiang Jun video not soon because I'm, right now I'm lagging too hard to actually get any decent footage and I'm actually not recording when I actually get decent footage. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one. Yes.